Okay, this is bullfrog neck video number one. Now, first of all, I'm sure you're wondering, what is a bullfrog neck? Well, it's this, this, this effect I get on my neck, okay? I got a lot of blubber hanging from my chin, so whenever I look down or to the side or anything like that, I, I get almost a, a reverse muffin top, okay? It's not good, but ultimately it looks like a bullfrog when it's doing a little ribbit thing and it's trying to mate with another frog. It's very unflattering. So it's a little nickname I've given myself. You know, other people say, hey, you, you got a lot of neck meat, you know, and it's like, okay, I get it. A lot of fat hanging out here. So this is one thing that I want to take care of. I call myself bullfrog neck. But as you work your way down my body, you'll see that there are other serious issues. For example, what used to be a pectoral region, now I, I'm actually, I think I'm developing breast tissue. I'm not kidding you. It's disgusting. Um, I don't like it. Um, when you go down here, I'm actually considering going to the doctor, checking and see if I'm pregnant because I don't know what's in there. I haven't felt anything kicking yet, but it doesn't seem like it could just be what I ate for dinner tonight that could be in there. I, it's something's alive. Okay, so jury's out on that. We'll just have to wait. So what will bullfrog neck be? What I want to do is I want to make a series of videos, okay, where people get to watch me transform from a slob into hopefully somebody who's fit okay well why is the video good okay well we've all seen the before and after photos and it's kind of a joke you know you want to see me lose 30 pounds in three seconds watch this before after i just lost 30 pounds in only three minutes okay nobody buys that okay so I thought it would be more compelling to make a video series where people can actually see me transform. And I'm going to make videos of me doing yoga and sit-ups and all these things that at first are going to be absolutely disgusting to watch. I'm just being honest. You're not going to want to watch me do yoga. I'm probably going to fall over. I'm going to be, uh, and I'll be flopping around. It's not going to be a pretty scene. But the idea is you should, every week I'm going to videotape the same thing at the same time and you should be able to watch me progress into a slob into somebody who is fit and it should be really cool and I can make a time lapse video. At the end of this, it's going to be a 30 week program. At the end of 30 weeks you'll be able to watch it in a time lapse and actually watch a person transform. I think it'd be really cool and hopefully it's inspiring. I'm a middle aged guy, I'm 38 years old, I run a business, I've got two kids, I'm married, I've got lots of responsibilities, a couple dogs, a cat. I always make excuses not to work out. It's what everybody does. We just make excuses. Ah, I'm not going to do it today, but I will go eat that five cheese mac and cheese with bacon and jalapenos I just made. That I have time for. Sound familiar? So I, I need I need to change this. So I used to be really fit, okay, really low body fat. People called me beef. Now they just call me fat ass. Well, particularly my dad. He calls me fat ass first time he sees me. But I used to be really fit. I used to take care of myself. I mean, I worked out from the time I was 14, really up until just a few weeks ago, I was always working out um, at least a couple times a week. But it's been getting less and less and less, and I eat more and more and more. And as I'm getting older, I just see it getting out of control. And I just know I need to stop it. So my short-term goals is I want to do a 30 week program. I want to lose 30 pounds in 30 weeks. That'll put me at 217, the lightest I've been since I was probably 19 years old. Okay? I should be the fittest I've ever been, lowest body fat I've ever been. It should be a great experience. It's a big goal, but it's something that I want to do, and I want to do it now before it gets out of control. So the first 10 weeks, I'm going to break the I'm going to break the 30 week program into 10 week sections. The first 10 weeks is going to be kind of getting back into the groove. I'm going to work out a lot, of, uh, a lot more, you know, five six times a week. But it's going to be you know not real intense at first. Each week I'll gradually bump it up. But I'm trying to get myself back into the groove. That enough and eating better should be enough for me to lose my goal of a pound a week. The second 10 week session. I'm going to have to step it up a little bit. I'm going to mix it up. I'm going to do multifunctional uh, workouts and routines, and I'm always going to be changing up. It's basic concept you get with CrossFit, and TRX training, and things like that. I'm going to try to incorporate more than that, or more of that stuff. The third session, the third 10 weeks, now I'm really going to step it up. I want to go all out, CrossFit style, crazy workouts, mixing it up, really test myself. I literally want to get 
in the best shape of my life before I'm 39 years old. Well, I might not be able to do that. I'll actually be 39 when that happens. So this is a lofty goal. And at the end of the 30 weeks, I want to participate in a Tough Mudder run. I don't know if you've ever seen these races. Um, they're awesome. The people look like they're fit. They're happy. They're having a great time. I couldn't do that now. I, I would be flopping around and breaking legs and be compound fractures everywhere. It just wouldn't be a good scene for me to do a Tough Mudder right now. It'd be a tough blubber. I'd fall down and then go home. I really want to do a Tough Mudder at the end of this 30 weeks, and I want to do it well. So that's my goal. Now, long term, the whole goal of this program is I want balance in my life, okay? So I want to develop a lifestyle of eating right, but also if I want to have five cheese mac and cheese with bacon and jalapenos once in a while, I can do it, and then I'll just go work out to burn it off. I can exercise, but I don't have to do it six, seven times a week. I don't have to be a fanatic about it. I don't have to be 5% body fat. Do stuff that I can incorporate into my life. Playing with the kids, jumping on the trampoline, working out three, four days a week. You know, just being more active in general. So, short term, I want to test myself. I want to see if I can do it. I want to try to get in the best shape of my life. Long term, I want to develop a lifestyle that I can sustain. That I can stay healthy, but not feel overwhelmed by the time pressures from working out and eating right and all of the other things that come into play. So this is the first video, and here we go.